let's begin with the another topic in multimedia that is classification of media. Media is the means of distribution and presentation of information. Media can be classified into perception media, presentation media, representation media, storage media, transmission media, information exchange media. The diagram shown to you is a classification of medium. So the various classifications of medium is shown in the diagram that are perception, representation, transmission, information exchange, storage, presentation. So from this diagram, you come to know clearly about the various medium classification in multimedia, how the medium is classified into the various types. Let's begin with the first type of medium that is a perception medium. So, perception medium is the medium through which information is perceived and processed by the user. In short, it means that if any person is talking with you, so that is what audible by your ear. So, ear is a one tool which is used to hear your uh, talk. The person is talking with you and through ear, you can hear whatever the statement he said. And then it is get processed in your mind. So this is called as a perception medium. So you are listening his voice, you are talking with him. So this whatever the way you are accepting his responses, your talk, that is called as a uh, perception medium. So sound is pursued by human ear, graphics is pursued by human eye. So, graphics is another example. With an open eye, we can see, visualize the graphical effect which are shown to us. Another type of medium, it is a representation medium. So, here, representation medium refers to the way information is constructed and represented. It means that you have information with you, now you need to represent it to some other person or pass it to some other medium. So, you need to process it. You need to represent it so that the third person can understand. And this kind of medium is called as a representation. How you are representing it. For example, text is encoded using ASCII codes or Unicode. Why? Because computer can understand that language only. So, whenever we write some program or we interact with the system, it is what user friendly. Generally, it is an English language. But whenever it is, but the computer cannot uh, understand this language. So, it is get transformed into the ASCII or Unicode. Similarly, audio is coded using PCM and the image is encoded using JPEG. These are what the standard formats which are used for audio and uh, image. So, the computer can easily understand this language. The other type of medium, it is presentation medium. Presentation medium is the way which facilitates the presentation of information to the user, either to view, read or listen. This medium engages all the human senses. Now, we are, we want to pass some information, we want to write something by using the computer. In that case, we are you. We need to use keyboard, we need to use mouse. Again, if I want to recall some audio, in that case, I am using microphone, screen, speaker. 
printer, what are these? These all devices are nothing but a medium and that is what the presentation is. I want to pass some information, I want to represent some information and for that representation, I need some devices, I need some interactive devices and that all are called as a presentation medium. The other type of medium in multimedia is a storage medium. Storing medium is the medium where you store and form where you retrieve data. Where you store and where you retrieve data. Both primary and secondary storages are considered as a storage medium. So here storage medium it means the way you want to store your data. Where do you will store your data? If you are working on the computer. So it is get stored on the hard disk drive. You can store it on your pen drive. You can store it in a RAM. So these are what the various ways where the data is primarily or secondarily get stored. And this secondary as well as primary storages are considered as a storage medium. So in a multimedia, hard drive, RAM, CD-ROM, DVDs, etc. are the example of a storage medium. Another type of multimedia medium is a transmission medium. Transmission media describes the physical system used to carry communication signals from one system to another. For example, guided transmission media like metallic cables, fiber optics, unguided media like satellites, radio signals, your Wi-Fi, this is what a transmission medium. So here transmission medium it means that whatever the multimedia application you want to transfer or whatever the information you want to pass by using multimedia applications. So you need some channel. The channel can be your anything like you can use your mobile phones, you can use your TV to display that information or pass that information. But at the same time, to pass that data, you need some way. And that way is nothing but your cables or your transmission medium. So transmission medium, through transmission medium, you can pass this information. So we are using mobile network, we are using Wi-Fi, we are using fiber optical cable. So what is this? These all are what a transmission medium. Similarly, you can get the information, geographical information, then radar is a uh, one uh, way to give you the information about the whereabouts, about uh, your flights and all. So this all are used, is all are giving you information in, by the means of some medium and that medium is called as a transmission medium. Other medium is information exchange medium. So information exchange medium is the application medium that is used to distribute the information from one point to other. The best example is an email service. So here how do you exchange in information? You can exchange it by using email services. There are many more other applications or examples of information exchange, your voice note, your call, phone call, these all are what the example of information exchange. So how you are passing this information, how you are passing uh, information from one point to the other, other point, that is what called as an information exchange. So email service is the best example of this information exchange medium. Let's start with another multimedia topic that is interaction techniques. So multimedia communication is the field referring to the representation, storage, retrieval and dissemination of machine possible information expressed in multiple media. 
such as text, image, graphics, speech, audio, video, animation, handwriting, and data type. So we use all these mediums to represent any multimedia application. Multimedia communication includes audio communication, that is telephony, sound broadcasting, even data, text, image communication can be done, that is by using your data transfer, fax machine, and video communication, that is video telephony, TV, HD TV. So these are what all the ways we are using a multimedia application. So we are representing various multimedia application by using all the combinations of these elements. Previously we learned about the interactive multimedia also. So that interactive multimedia system so based on the integration of commercial products provide some oriented functions of enhance user interaction. So with the interactive multimedia system, we need to be in touch, we need to communicate with the end user. So our application is going to interact with the end user. So this interactive multimedia, when I am saying that interactive multimedia, it means that we need to use some products which are based on the interaction. Today, using the internet to listen to music and to radio news, to view short video sequence, we can talk with any person who is in the remote location or who is far away. We can communicate by using video conferencing, video calls. So, these are all what all your interactive multimedia applications where the interaction between two end users is carried out. So, so let's see what is interaction technique. An interaction technique is a combination of hardware and software elements that provides a way for computer users to accomplish a single task. It is a way of using physical input-output devices to facilitate human-computer interaction to perform a task. So when I say interactive multimedia, it is one kind of multimedia application and you can say it is one of the type of multimedia. So here with the interactive, interactive it means response and it is also responsive from both the sides. So interactive it means when there is an interaction from both the side, so here with the multimedia, you need to think about hardware as well as software. So this hardware and software in combination is going to work together to perform a single task. So this way your physical input output devices will facilitate you to perform that multimedia interactive task. Okay. For example, for going back to previously visited page on a web browser, by either clicking to the button, pressing a key, performing a mouse gesture, or uttering a speech commands. So this is what the example. So here when we want to interact um, when we are accessing internet. So in that case suppose I want to go back I need to press a mouse button. I need to click on the keyboard to go back. So this is the way where I want to access it but at the same time I am going to interact with the system. I am interacting here by using some medium and this is called as this is not possible because of the combination of hardware and software. So this we have to consider you know interaction again. An interaction between is the fusion of input and output, all software and hardware elements that provide a way for the user to accomplish a task. From the computer perspective, an interaction technique involves 
one or several input devices that capture user input. One or several output devices that display user filter. A piece of software that interprets user input into commands the computer can understand. Producers user feedback based on user input and the system step. Consider for example the process of deleting a file using a contextual menu. This assumes the existence of a mouse that is input device, a screen that is output device, and a piece of code that prints a menu and updated selection that is user feedback and sends a command to the file system. When the user clicks on the delete item, user feedback can be further used to confirm that the command has been invoked. Interactive business can be used now for a specific one users with another designers with testing for user sense from the user perspective and interaction taking is a way to perform a single computing task and can be informally expressed with user instructions or user scenarios. For example, to delete a file, right click on the file you want to delete, then click on the delete item. Next is designer view. From the user interface designer perspective, an interaction technique is a well defined solution to a specific user interface design problem. Interaction technique as conceptual ideas can be refined, extended, modified, and combined. For example, contextual menus are a solution to the problem of rapidly selecting commands. Pie menus are a radial variant of contextual menus. Marking menus combine pie menus with gesture recognition. Interaction style are defined by two means. One, command line. Second, direct manipulation. Interaction techniques that share the same design principle can be seen as belonging to the same interaction style. General examples are command line and direct manipulation user interfaces. A command line interface processes commands to a computer program in the form of lines of text. The program which handles the interface is called a command line interpreter or command line processor. Operating system implements a command line interface in a in its services. Example DOS commands. Today, users rely upon graphical user interfaces and menu driven interaction. However, some programming and maintenance tasks may not have graphical user interface and may still use a command line. In computer science, direct manipulation is a human computer interaction style which involves continuous representation of objects of interest and rapid, reversible, and incremental actions and feedback. An example of direct manipulation is resizing a graphical shape such as a rectangle by dragging its corner or edges with a mouse. 